In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a free professional email using Zoho or what we call a custom email, business email using Zoho. So what you're going to do, just visit zoho.com, go to zoho.com, type zoho.com on your browser. Then this is the page you'll be directed to. So here we want to choose mail, so sign up now. Choose the business email, not the personal email. You see, if you choose the personal email, it will be at zohomail.com. We don't want that. We want it to be at your domain. After choosing the business email, make sure to fill in your detail, your name, email address, and a strong password, and agree with terms and condition. You can also sign up with Google, but for now, I'm just signing up with that. So sign up for free. They'll send you a one-time verification code to your email. So this is the verification code I'll be using. So it's verifying, give it a second. Okay, now you are requested to add a mobile phone number, add your phone number. Okay, so I've added my phone number in the verification code. After verifying, the mobile phone number has been verified. So click continue. We want to choose the first option because we want to choose our email at domain, our domain name. Proceed. Okay, you have to zoom out so that you may see clearly the free option that is below. Okay, that's okay. So you can see you have up to five users, each with 5 GB. That is 5 GB per user. Now try it. Will be requested you will be asked either to add an existing domain or to buy a new domain in our case obviously we want to use an existing domain so add your domain organization name it's um in my case i'll type in josh wp and then the industry i'll use education and then had congratulations your domain josh wp site had it successful so now we can proceed to domain verification So here are some DNS records that we need to add to our domain. This is a text record. We'll have to add it at the root. So all I need to do is just copy it. Okay. And then I'll, I'm using Namecheap for this purpose. So I'm going to add a new record. And this one it's a text record. The host is at value here. We paste what we had copied and then save. It is now saved. Now give it some time. As you can see, it says it can take up 30 to one day for propagation to take place. However, just give it a few seconds and then click verify. It's verify. You have now verified your domain ownership. So in this case, I want you can use for the super admin, you can use either contact at your domain or admin at info at. In my case, I'll use admin for these testing purposes. So create. So as you can see, we have created the email. It's admin. Just let me be. So proceed to DNS mapping. Uh, in this case, we'll be asked whether you want to add groups, and I'm not interested in adding any groups. So I'm just going to proceed. So as you can see here, we have more DNS records that we need to add. And in this case, we have MX, MX records. Copy the first MX record. I'll go to your domain register. In name chip, you have to scroll down to find MX record and then type paste in. Okay, you have saved it. Okay, had a new record. We're going to copy this one and then the priority is 20. So it's at the value best what we have copied and then priority it's 20 and 
let's add a new so this is the last mx record we're going to add okay it's eight and then that's it priority is 50 and then save the record so that's done and then you have a text record also host the uh, root copy it so we have to scroll up add this record it's a text record root root and then pass save okay we have to zoom out so that we can see this clearly we have another text record and then the host name it's that one copy that create a new text record copy the value okay and then we have to copy the value is this long string we paste it here and then we save Oh, that's successful let's go back so now we have to give it some times and then click to see if it is propagated in our case you can see the MX records have already propagated but the text record is not yet propagated so give it a few minutes and then click it is now done it has propagated well so we can now proceed to the next step you will be asked if you are interested in migrating your existing mail content but in our case uh, I don't have any do you want to download the mobile app or no not now proceed so we are done so yeah the setup is complete so check your email box in this case we are going to create a new mail so I'm going to send it to my gmail account wp 4 and then the subject line, I have nothing to add, so I'm going to paste a random paragraph and then let's send. Don't turn to add any subject line, so it is sending. Mail us send. Let's check our inbox. As you can see, it's successfully sent. I want to reply to this? I'll say hi. Thanks a lot and then let's send it okay let's check our inbox as you can see this is a reply i said hi thanks a lot oh, and then this is the text i had sent previously it is successfully working mm, what else is you can't just exist of that okay so a few setting just go to admin console admin console here you'll find settings if you want to add a group some also email settings mail settings okay just basically their settings 